The sounds of World War II reverberate throughout Europe as tired and exhausted soldiers find solace in a pre-packaged meal. And the comforting flavors of a tin of spaghetti ready and waiting for them. A meal prepared by a 16-year-old who moved to America from one of the countries they were fighting in and who would soon make millions of dollars from canned spaghetti. The man who would become chef, Ettore Boyardi was a natural chef. He was born on October 22, 1897 in the northern Italian town of Piacenza. Ettore loved cooking from a young age, so young, in fact, that his family claims he used a wire whisk as a baby rattle, and was a chef's apprentice by the age of 11. We'd be moving a world away by 16 in only five years. He left Italy for New York City, where his brother Paul lived and worked as a waiter at the famed Plaza Hotel. Paul got a job in the kitchen, and the staff quickly discovered what the restaurant family had known since was a baby Ettore was a cooking prodigy. Ettore was promoted to head chef a year later, but he wasn't done. What would have been the pinnacle of most people's careers was only a stepping stone in Ettore's career over the next decade. Ettore established himself in the food industry. He began as a head chef in several hotels before supervising a presidential wedding. He eventually settled in Cleveland as a head chef, but only for a short time. He knew it was time to start his own business. Ettore and his new wife opened their first restaurant. Giardino d'Italia, or the Garden of Italy, was his name for it. And, while we now regard Italian cuisine as opulent, it did not have the prestige it now has, instead, all of the fine dining establishments were French. But because he was such a skilled chef, not only was his restaurant an instant success, but his customers begged him to teach them how to cook Italian meals, and then Ettore had an idea, what if we started jarring and selling our sauce? Ettore immediately asked his family for help, and he began collecting milk bottles and filling them with his pasta sauces, which he sold to customers. He soon started selling cheese, uncooked pasta, and his famous sauce as takeaway. His sauce quickly became so popular that sales outpaced his restaurant business. Ettore had become engulfed in his own success. He could no longer handle all of the orders on his own, he needed to broaden his horizons. Did he realize that once he did, his company would be called to serve in the century's largest conflict? Ettore was having a problem. Customers were lining up for his sauce. The demand outweighed his ability to bottle it quickly, he needed to ramp up production quickly. As a result, he had Ettore establish a small canning and processing plant in Cleveland. He enlisted the help of his brothers Paul and Mario, and the Chef Priority Food Company was born. This new company introduced three new spaghetti sauces to the market, including traditional mushroom and spicy Naples style. Business was booming, but there was an embarrassing issue. Customers and salespeople in the United States couldn't pronounce Boyardi Ettore. As a result, he changed the spelling to something that customers could pronounce. Everyone in RD's family is proud of his surname. Ettore later explained that the product that made Chef Boyardi famous would not hit the market in the form of prepackaged meals for another eight years. The first item was simple, a jar of spaghetti sauce, a container of grated parmesan cheese, and a box of spaghetti, everything needed to make a complete spaghetti dinner at home. The company began selling its canned sauces at A&P grocery stores, introducing the brand to a national market, and an easy-to-use can opener had just hit the market at the perfect time. Every day, Americans saw canned goods as reliable, nutritious, and time-saving. The Chef Boyardi factory was producing more canned sauces and prepackaged meals. There was no denying Chef Boyardi's success, far too much success. Within two years, the company had expanded so rapidly that its plant could no longer keep up. So Ettore packed his belongings and relocated operations from the Cleveland plant to a factory in Milton, Pennsylvania. Another advantage of the new location. It was also closer to their tomato supply, in addition to being larger. In fact, the family required so many tomatoes that they had to persuade local farmers to switch crops in order to obtain enough. Chef Boyardi had become a market commodity, and the United States would soon require that commodity. 
When America went to war, the US military required long-lasting foods that could be transported to the front lines in Europe and the Pacific, which Chef Boyardee was already familiar with. To meet increased demand, the US commissioned the company to produce can after can of rations for the soldiers. The factory kept the lights on and the production lines running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and their efforts were recognized. A year after the war was declared over, Ettore Boyardi received the Gold Star, one of the highest civilian honors, and his employees gathered in Milton to celebrate the Allied victory. It was a great honor, and it would be his last as the head of his own company, while his company was being praised for its continued service in the war. He was also dealing with a looming threat to his employees as a result of the war's demand. He couldn't afford to keep every employee. There was only one option, sell the business. It was a difficult choice, but I knew that only a larger corporation could keep its employees employed. He decided to sell Chef Boyardi for $6 million to an American family. After the sale, Ettore continued to work with the company as a consultant and spokesperson, but tragedy struck when he died of an illness at the age of 87. By this point, he was widely regarded as one of America's top culinary talents. Chef Boyardi introduced more canned and microwavable products over the years, including ravioli, beef, aroni, and lasagna. Despite its growth, American Home eventually decided to sell its food businesses and concentrate on healthcare and pharmaceuticals. Chef Boyardi sales remained consistent over time, even as Americans continued to prefer fresh food over canned. When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, however, sales skyrocketed as people stuck at home looked for cheap, easy ways to make comforting meals. Chef Boyardi is now owned by Conagra Brands and has contributed to the conglomerate's recent 35% growth. And Chef Boyardi products like beef, a Ronnie ravioli, and spaghetti and meatballs remain popular comfort foods among Americans. This is the story of how a 16-year-old left Italy for the United States and rose from waiter to one of the top culinary talents, establishing a well-known food brand along the way. Which of the following facts was your favorite in this video? Let us know in the comments. Also don't forget to turn on the notification bell like and subscribe for more.